What's going on, guys? My name is Matt. I own Matt's Woodworks. The next build is a poker table. It's a surprise for a friend of mine from his wife. Obviously, doesn't know about it yet. It's a Father's Day present. So we have three and a half weeks from today to get it done. Today starts the build. So I'm gonna bring you along. You're gonna see process video, the big reveal at the end. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by Father's Day. Thank you for uh, watching this one. Like this video, leave a comment, and I'd really appreciate if you um, subscribed. So uh, let's go. So getting ready to start fabrication. We've got all of the uh, 3 16 uh, plate hot rolled steel components. They're all plasma cut. We've got the uh, the face, the front, bottom plate. This is out a quarter inch. And these are gonna be the two side panels that are gonna fit the angle. And then the back with a hole at the bottom for some wire management. I'm gonna start grinding and getting everything prepped for some fabrication. All right, so got about three quarters of the way done, getting ready to do the uh, back piece. We're gonna dry fit it in and then uh, tack it up. Let's go. All right, so we're on site, getting ready to do the CNC work on the uh, top out here at uh, Sinorama in Reading. Stay tuned, it's gonna be sweet. All right, three of the components cut out. This is for the felt pad, bumper, and then we're cutting out uh, with the sheet on the table and that one right now, um, the middle section. All right, bottom one's all milled out. It looks super good. All right, get ready to mill up the top piece, last and final. Look at that figure, baby. Double A, gray, Clara Walnut. Courtesy of GL Veneer. guys what's going on so just got back from the water jet place got the logo it's out of a solid slab of clara walnut it's pretty cool let me show you so i have it on 35 pound magnets one on each uh, corner and i have it pretty mounted now picked out the slabs that we're going to use for the wood strips that are going to kind of encase this whole unit all the way around um, the left and right side of the face um, some really nice, super figured Clara Walnut slabs. And let's get to milling. Happy, uh, I don't know what date it is. I think we're about a week, week and a half into the build. I wanted to give kind of a, an update. So we got the base pretty much all done. All of the wood slats are all mounted. 
It's getting ready for um, filler and paint uh, probably the next couple days. And then I just finished up the, uh, the bumper, just about, a couple more things to do. Then we'll get that off to upholstery and start working on the top, get the wireless chargers embedded. So it's gonna be uh, a fun week. Enjoy, ciao. This is the Doug Mocket, uh, part numbers WCS4-95. Let me give you a peek inside and show you kind of how this whole thing, uh, whole thing works. I'll give you a little caliper so you can measure the, uh, the thickness of your material. Each one comes with its own Forstner bit. And you also get the other uh, stop, the Allen key and wrench, and all of these set screws. And also the little super tiny, I don't know if you can see that, drill bit for the um, light to admit through the top. And then of course, charger itself. All right, moment of truth with the Clark Griswold. Yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, body work's done. We're all prepped for some color. We're about to hit it with some primer. All right, one more coat of primer to go. Everything's been sanded in between to uh, 320. After the final coat, we'll uh, sand to 600 and put some uh, color on this thing. We are finished. It's super late. It's been about 30 minutes or so. Pretty much flashed off. Real nice, real nice. You can see a lot of runs here. It was super late when I sprayed this, so just in the clear. So we're just gonna knock it down, get everything flagged, get all the orange peel out, um, start with the thousand grit, and then we're gonna work up to um, 3M's Trizac 8,000 grit pads, and then we're gonna uh, buff it out. Okay, 2000 is done on the front, on the bottom. We're gonna hit it with uh, 3000 now. All right, here we go with the 5000 pad. All right, this is uh, 3M's Trizac 8000 grit. What's up guys? Uh, today's a good day. So we got back from the poster shop, got the bumper pad and the, uh, the felt. Let me show you what it looks like. All right. So we did some super nice plush. Uh, it's all Euro leather, nice Italian leather. We did a French seam this time. Uh, this is gaming felt with the logo, dye sublimation. 
So I'll uh, do threaded inserts through the whole thing up into the plywood support or structure. And then that'll cinch it all together. I'm gonna throw some finish on the top tomorrow. I did the bottom this morning, pretty much call the um, top complete, but all in all, it's coming together. A few more days and she'll be done. All right, update time. So we just finished spraying the top of the poker table. Did a semi-gloss on it. Didn't want it too shiny and be intrusive when playing. Came out real nice. What's up guys, how you doing? So we are one week away from delivery um, and I just finished the base. I'll give you a little peek there. Let me show you. All right, there she is in all her glory. So Ryan still has no idea. We are planning for next Saturday delivery, day before Father's Day. The last thing I have to do um, is mount the pad onto the poker table top and then put the top on the base and then drill and do threaded inserts from the apron up. And then uh, she's done. Came out pretty wicked. Today is packing day. We are officially done uh, with the poker table. I haven't shown a couple of things that I finished up, so I'll give you a peek before I wrap it up. But um, extremely fun build. It's gonna be a good Father's Day gift. Tomorrow, he's gonna get it. It's the last little look before the big day tomorrow. I used my new Shaper Origin to make this cool grommet to kind of finish it off. Nice little Father's Day gift plaque with my logo. And I've dubbed this one the Numizo. Zero, zero, 001 one last little touch with the uh, the shaper engraved his logo there ebonized the inside and then cleared over it but all in all it was a super fun build took exactly a month and a day Tomorrow, we'll get a quite a few shots and some content getting this thing out of the trailer and inside the house and firing up the chargers, seeing how it looks inside. Let's wrap it up. Here we go. Some bitch. Today's a big day. Uh, I got everything all loaded up. The daughter and the wife come and take some content, but uh, let me show you where we're at. Okay, so everything's all strapped down. Um, everything's wrapped up. Coming at you. Let's go. Oh, that was good. 